there's a bit of pleasure for your ears in the afternoon. The sound of the overtones and I are very, very pleased to say that the boys are back in town. Welcome hello, hello. the overtones. Good afternoon. Hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Darren, Mike, Mark, Lackey and young Tim. <laughs> Timmy, how are you? I'm very, very well. I'm love I'm really thrilled that we're we're in tour in Ireland. I'm having my little fix of home, which is great. <laughs> it's not you guys have been so so busy because every time I seem to turn on my television set <laughs> and, and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad <laughs> thing. The overtones are there. I saw you at the remembrance uh, yes, event at yes. the weekend. That looked very special. What an honour. What Total an honour to be part of it, you know, you know, to be part of such a an amazing day, an emotional day as well. But it was a great honour to be performing at the Royal Albert Hall and you know for the Queen and the Royal Family it was it was amazing and you know it's it's to pay respect as well so we were really honoured to be part of it and Mike who, we, who was it was performed with it with the RAF band? Well, yeah we, we, we performed with um, uh, the RAF uh, Squadronaires and th- they're the, these incredible bunch of guys and you know we, we, we went to a rehearsal at RAF Northall in London and, and we were a little bit intimidated and a little bit nervous and we got there and, and there's a, a guy called uh, Sergeant Stewart and he was so lovely and the guys were so great and they really helped us and kind of took our nerves away and so to perform next to them and they're, they're the uh, the Queen's favourite brass band uh, military band so so for us to be performing with them again as Timmy said was a total honour so what we're saying now Lackey is that the overtones are by royal approval we could get that little stamp made, couldn't we? We could exactly. pop it on our CDs by royal appointment. It was one of the lovely things was that um, on the, on the day I think on the uh, on the transmission on, out on the TV going out live, she there were close ups of her clapping and smiling for two acts, and one was Rod Stewart and the other one was the Overtones, and that's kind of that's eh? kind of cool. Her Majesty doesn't have to smile if she doesn't want to, so it was quite a pri- it was quite a privilege, and she certainly doesn't have to applaud. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Did that's she take right. her gloves off? Prince Philip has been noted whispering something into her ear, and we like to think she was saying they were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he, was sa- so. he was saying, yeah, hopefully it wasn't. <laughs> but thank goodness that's over. No. <laughs> Not really. He was actually saying, can one get the CD? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, one can. It's higher, and it's in the shops now. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you must. We, uh, we played higher there, but since the last time that you were in this studio, really the overtones have just gone higher and higher, haven't they? Well, I mean, you know, we're just having a good time, and 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 we're just so happy to be having success and to be able to do this for a career is is a dream come true. You know, we're we're five best mates, just having a great time. Well, the first time you were in here, the first album was just out, and you were best friends, and you were doing what you loved, but you. In a way, you were thinking, "Is this going to be a step to something bigger? Is mm, this is where's this going to take us?" Mm. Uh, but lucky, it's it's taken you around the world, hasn't it? It's, it's taken us all over the place. We've been spending a lot of time in Europe and in different countries around the world, just sort of spreading the sound because it's a sound that, that everyone sort of latches onto and really enjoys. And you see that when we're on on tour, you're on stage, and there's two thousand happy faces and and dancing feet. But I wanted to say that for us, one of those moments where we realised, oh, we can we can do this was actually here in Belfast it was two years ago for Children in Need at the Odyssey Arena there were 12,000 people That's in right. there and we were used to playing to about 100 people or so and so to stand on that stage it was one of the first proving ground moments for us we stood on stage and sort of showed our wares and sang our songs and and 12,000 people got up on their feet and danced we thought oh I remember that being a real moment for me mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. Belfast will always be extremely important and very special to us Definitely. I've always reckoned that the way that you guys take a song, you add something. Mark, what do you think of it? Um, I think for us, like you say, it's, it's feel good music. I mean, you know, you only have to come to one of our gigs to see that it, you know, it's a big party. We 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 just want to put a smile on everyone's face and get everyone up dancing, mm-hmm. which is which is what we do. And um, we realise as five guys, you know, how lucky we are to do that for people. It's a great feeling, you know, to see people standing up, dancing, singing, and. Uh, you know, having a party with you. I think as well, like we're in terms of the, the the covers that we've got on the first album and and the new album. You know, it's it's not just a case of okay, that, let's take that song and just perform it and and record it because obviously, what's the point in doing that? We we want to you know record songs that we put our own stamp on and and you know uh, find the love for and and things like that. And and because of that, you know, we're, we're very proud of what we've done with with you know the first and the second album. Uh, I was just going to say about um, you know whether it's Love and the Sound, an original, which is a real feel-good song, or Reap Petite, or Run Around Sue. You know, these are songs that it's just so lovely to see the reaction, especially when we do it live. And you know, they're all on the new album, and we're we're loving the mix of 
old and new were really kind of celebrating that even more on this album, which I really love. Tell me, you mentioned, you know, being on tour and it's nice to get back to Ireland. Do you, yeah. do you, do you miss whenever you're away? Because can I tell you a story? Go on. I mean, this is a true story. <laughs> uh, you first appeared here two years ago and, uh, you know, everybody uh, that heard you and everybody that listened to you was, was very taken with the overtones. No more so than my producer, who would be quite maternal. And every time we hear the overtones and every time I play them and you see them on TV, she says... I can wonder how wee Timmy is. Is he getting on okay? Ah, oh, God, that's Timmy. lovely. Do you know what? I do. I do miss home, and you know, but it's the little, it's the little things, isn't it? Like when my mum sends over like a box of berries tea, <laughs> and and a bag of potatoes. You know, like it's those little things that do remind me of home. But you know, we have been getting back to Ireland a, a fair bit, which is really lovely, and the fans are so sweet as well. Like I, I, I love my little fix at home. It really keeps me going, and having that type of support, like really drives you on I Good love match. it so thanks to everyone who's supporting us so far over here in Ireland I uh, love it and lucky it takes a little bit further a few more air miles to get you <laughs> home <laughs> yes <laughs> when are we going to Australia lucky I, I've you got soft hey, Timmy, you, know, you know that one hour and 15 minute flight to Cork from Heathrow time's up by about 37 <laughs> and you've basically got the trip to Sydney it's really nice we should do it more often so where, where all have you been the, and say for instance the last 12 months where, where have the overtones performed What's, well, the, give me a few of the highlights <laughs> We've um, it, w one of the uh, highlights for me was um, we went out, uh, it's kind of spread our wings. We went around Europe and, and released the album in Germany and Switzerland and Italy and Finland and places like Austria and places like that. Um, and you know, we, we were kind of really taken in by by um, the people there. And you know, we we launched a uh, a, a new German TV channel. And you know, uh, the gambling man was the was the sound, and we were the face of the channel. And and you know, that was That's that was an honour. Cool. You know, it, it, even though it's a German channel, we all knew it. You know, mm. from from it, you know living in the UK, and so so you know, we we've done that. We've done shows over there. We've got we we've toured in Germany. We've got another tour in Germany, and you know, and it's and it's great to see that all these different cultures enjoying what we're doing as well. We get to shoot the odd music video in LA, which isn't that bad either. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 we did a gig in Pittsburgh as well, which yes. was amazing for us. That was like the spiritual home of doo -wop, and we did a really special concert in um, in Pittsburgh. But like places you just don't expect, like Johannesburg, Cape Town. Yeah, we shot a video for um, yeah. Say What I Feel in South Africa, and that was amazing, mm. amazing. How I've bad? I've got to say, back in the UK, we had a, a crazy summer. We performed at the Queen's Jubilee, mm. and then we were involved in the Olympics performing at Hyde Park for BT London Live. So that was a real highlight for me, definitely. Mm. So what we're saying is things are going pretty well for the overtones. So what's next? God, you, you, you know what? We're just <laughs> look, we're just working hard. You know, the the thing is, th as you say, things are going really well for us. But we're not going to rest on our laurels. We're not going to kind of sit back and just think that it's it's all going to just fall into our laps. Now we've we've got this work ethic where we we try as hard as we can and we keep on striving and pushing to be bigger and better. So we're just going to carry on doing that through uh, the you know this this album higher. Hopefully through the third and fourth and fifth album and and, and just keep growing and and get get out there to more and more people. You know, and, and, and keep coming back to see you. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> no, but I've got to say as well as that for people that are fans of the Overtones or, or like their music, go on to the website, the Overtones, because you can actually sign up. It's really really good, really interactive, and you can actually say yes, I'm going to the gig, and yes, I like this, yeah, and I like yeah, that. It's, yeah. it's it's a good way to be. Alan, can we say something? We do a lot of we do a lot of radio, and we do a lot of TV, we do a lot of press. Mm. Your hair. Oh my God, I'm he's so the jealous. best. He's got great hair. Out of all so of them, jealous. in, in the every I think country I think we have been to, I think I'm Lockie should should, get, yeah. should imitate I'm, that. I'm going to might take get my little iPhone out and take a little snappy <laughs> pic of that and just take it to a hairdresser and say, "Make me like Alan." I've sent I've sent you to my man Tommy two times. He's sort you. So we're going to do a tune, yes, uh, which is great. Which is this is what it's all about, and I believe. The lady that wrote this song yeah. is uh, ever so chuffed with it, which yeah, is we, great. We got a, a tweet actually last night from Eddie Reader herself saying how much she approved of the song and she loved what we'd done with it and put our own stamp on it. And and for me personally, I, I've always been a massive Eddie Reader fan, so um, I was quite excited about that. <laughs> That's perfect, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> Just perfect. <laughs> I don't want half a dozen things. To play city games I promised myself I won't do that again 
it's got to be perfect it's got to be worth it yeah too many people take second best but i won't take anything less it's got to be yeah oh, oh. They make such mistakes They are much too weaker To get in the bar way Oh, well, I have been foolish And too many times Now I'm determined I'm gonna get it right It's got to be Perfect it's got to be worth it, yeah. Too many people to take events, but I won't take anything less. It's got to be, yeah. Oh, Sounding better than ever. The overtones were in with us earlier on today. i got to say, we did get lucky a haircut. I took him round to my uh, mate, Tommy. He cut it, Tommy, two times.